Farmers tighten their belts in anticipation of another rough year. Here's more from the Sorghum Symposium. Well, and I think this year's the important year where you really got to tighten your belt. That's the plan for John Dolnicek, watching every dollar. Things are tight. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look at uh, try and make a budget and uh, what, do, what do I do to uh, make ends meet and, and it goes into these, those inputs. And uh, what my inputs, I'm going to try and keep them as low as I can so I can get the most bang for my buck. After three straight years of lower farm income, farmers say their conversations are changing. More about the numbers going in than the numbers coming out of the combine at harvest. The coffee shop talk is, uh, you know, how many bushels that they made per acre and that type of thing. But uh, the bottom line is economically, you know, what did it cost you to produce that bushel? And Those who follow grain markets say it's hard to guess where prices will be this fall. We have a long growing season to go through both A in South America and then B here at home. So not knowing what the planning intentions are at this juncture, I think it's a little bit uh, premature to try to start guessing prices this early. At this sorghum symposium, the grain many call Milo is on their minds as an alternative to corn. It may pay less, but these growers argue it costs less to produce because it can be grown on marginal ground and doesn't need as much water. Sorghum may put a smile on your face instead of uh, uh, the frowns that Prices are pretty low right now, so. John Dolnichak says it's about making budget-minded decisions. Try and make ends meet as best we can until prices again start to go back. Before we close, don't forget to keep up with us on Facebook, Twitter, and also Instagram. Just look for NTV's Grow, and we're there all week long at Nebraska.tv. Just look at our webpage for the latest in Nebraska agriculture, and we'll see you next time.